Those idiots! They're destroying everything! How can I take over the city and build the Eggman Empire if there is no city? I'm at my limit! I have no choice! Send in the Eggman fleet! Charge! I bet no one expected this baby could fly. I transported this brilliant flying fortress to this planet over 2,000 years ago. It's magnificent! The perfect killing machine! Ready to oppose terror in unimaginable ways. <laughs> Do these fools really believe they can stop me? Isn't that... the Doctor? Aloha everybody and welcome to part 8 of Shadow the Hedgehog and we have just reached Sky Troops where the two bad guys duke it out to see which one is the baddest bad guy. In this blue sky, staring at it from afar, have I seen it before? So which team are you? Team Black Doom or are you Team Eggman? You better be Team Eggman, you bastards! Shadow, the foolish scientist still seeks to resist us. I've got to get on board the Doctor's flagship. Annihilate the scientists' battleships. I've destroyed the aliens' power units. So yeah, this is the only mission in which Dr. Eggman is considered the hero mission, mainly because Black Doom is much more eviler. Well, Eggman wants to preserve the planet so we can conquer it later. So, you know, we gotta help out Dr. Eggman at all costs! Oh, Shadow! Fancy running into you here! There's got to be some kind of peculiar power source that's keeping these ruins afloat. Find it and destroy it! So to this game's credit, Sky Troops has alright mission structure because the things you need to destroy are so clear and so out in the open you can't really miss them. That gas paints a person's soul with evil and will increase your dark gaze. Give it a try. <laughs> okay, Dr. Eggman, I'll inhale the evil gas for you. As long as it's not poo gas. Anywho, uh... <laughs> Again, the mission structure for this level is pretty simple and pretty obvious, you can't really miss it. Uh, both Dark and Hero missions need you to destroy five things, and uh, it's really hard to miss those five things. Uh, for Dr. Eggman's side, you have to destroy the jewels that you needed to activate back in Glyphic Canyon in order to make these ships fly, but I'll get back to that later. And uh, the jewels are always usually indoors, except for the last one, which is where the goal ring is, so that's pretty hard to miss too. And uh, Black Doom's mission is pretty much just a straight up blow up all of Eggman's battleships that are in the sky and every time you'll see that coming because Eggman's battleships are huge, they're orange and uh, there's usually a cannon hanging around that's uh, CHAOS CONTROL! <laughs> but uh, there's usually a cannon hanging around those giant egg battleships so those are all pretty hard to miss and uh, you know I like it when the objectives are clear and not missable. I mean, you can technically miss out on a jewel, and then you'll have to backtrack to break it again, but at least it's so obvious you should have hit it. Unlike the fucking aliens who can be hiding behind a stone pillar or something, and then you have to go through all of Westopolis again just to hit them. Uh, or Glyphic Canyon, uh, Cause yeah, we're kind of reliving Glyphic Canyon, eh? Shadow the Hedgehog uh, has a lot of levels in the game, definitely. I think there's like 20 or 22 or so levels in the game. Maybe 23. And uh, it's a good number, it's a good number, but you'll only be playing six of them during an actual story playthrough. You just go from level one to through all the way to six, and then you're done. So you have this mission structure thing where you decide what level you go to, and there's a whole bunch! But uh, because of the mission structure not being linear and because they just wanted to half-ass it, a lot of the level designs are just reused. And you're going to be seeing the same level designs over and over and over again. So when you're going through Sky Troops, you go, Oh wow! We're playing Glyphic Canyon! Again! 
Which is so funny because like most people I know who play Shadow the Hedgehog, and I, I mean it, like 95%, there'd be like maybe that one person who didn't do it, but everyone I know who plays Shadow the Hedgehog always, always, always goes down the neutral path. And the neutral pathway is always as simple as go to the goal ring. So they'll play Shadow, not knowing anything about the mission structure or what you need to do, or tolerating what you have to do because fuck finding 45 aliens. And they'll just go to the normal goal ring and complete the game that way. So most people I know play the normal missions always. And it goes from Glyphic Canyon, neutral mission, to Prison Island, neutral mission, to Sky Troops. So then, already, people playing the game are like, wait, I just played Glyphic Canyon, now I'm playing to a level that looks and feels exactly like Glyphic Canyon. Wow, the game design in this game is so bad. <laughs> what, what the fucking makers of this game thinking? So yeah, I mean, it has its differences. Obviously this whole bat segment, the giant gun walker thing that I'll talk about again. But, uh, you know, it's still Glyphic Canyon. And you know, later examples are gonna be like, hey, Black Comet is so similar to Final Haunt, which is so similar to The Last Way. There's just lots of examples where they reuse level design because fuck effort. <laughs> We get, we're making this game in under a year. Sega's forcing us to rush it out to stores. I cannot betray the Doctor. Damn right, Shadow. Long live the Eggman Empire. Eggman for life! But of course, I'm sure you want to see the alternate way where Black Doom has a lucky chance thanks to Shadow. And then he gets the upper hand because of him. But yeah, you can blow up Eggman's battleships and help out Black Doom, but no one would, because Dr. Eggman is the superior being. And fuck Black Doom. Fuck that alien. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, there's a, a, a new gun walker in this level that jumps really high. It's pretty, actually, pretty fun, but uh, this is the only level it's in for the most part. I mean, I might be wrong about that, but... This is the only member... This is the only level I remember it being in, and it's it's alright for platforming. The thing that sucks about that Gunwalker, though, is it's so stiff, and, like, you can't really go large distances after you jump, so you really have to make sure all of your jumps count, and you have to jump at the edge of a platform just so that you make it and stuff. Uh, it has a hover feature, too, just like the walkers from Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, but, like, it hovers so slowly, but it can't go forward at all. It moves forward so slowly, that you really gotta make sure your jumps count, otherwise it's not really a great vehicle to move around in. I just wish it had more reach, I just wish it, it went forward more and stuff, you know? Then it would be an alright vehicle, and if it were used in more levels, but as it is, this is pretty much it. Sky Troops is the only one that really takes advantage of that walker that jumps super high, so you know. Uh, one thing uh, someone probably brought up by now, I'm... At least I hope you have. Uh, <laughs> actually, I don't. Stop pointing out what I missed. It's fucking port. It's it's fucking part eight. We're still going through this. But uh, constantly throughout the game, uh, you're gonna notice that there's lots of keyhole doors that I keep passing by that unlock when I go near them. Uh, again, I'm playing Shadow the Hedgehog on a save file that where everything is beaten. I didn't want to play through this whole entire game ten more times. You know. So I'm playing all the levels through the stage select and uh, all the keys, the unlockable keys that I need to unlock those doors have been collected. So usually when you, when you first start Shadow the Hedgehog, there are keys everywhere. And when you find all five keys in the level, you can unlock uh, this key door, which will usually give you a, a special vehicle, maybe a special weapon or a special shortcut through the stage. And uh, I got all those. Death to all who oppose me. I hate Black Doom. Fuck you, Black Doom. Fuck you. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I got most of the keys, and all the key doors are pretty much unlocked, and I don't go through all of them, as I sh probably should have. I, sh I, I know I'm doing an LP for people, and most people aren't going to be arsed to get all the keys in the game, but most of the key doors are hiding, like, vehicles and stuff. Like, there's one in Westopolis that's literally just hiding, like, a vehicle and stuff. And it didn't seem 
necessary to show off. I, I showed like the shortcut in Digital Circuit, but for the most part, I usually skip these key doors, and it's just worth mentioning that I have all the keys, and I will be showing the key door of this level, so yeah. That is something I probably should have pointed out. But yeah, we're going through Glyphic Canyon. Again. <laughs> Seriously, you can't lie to me and say you didn't do the neutral pathway <laughs> when you first played Shadow the Hedgehog. Everyone I know who plays Shadow the Hedgehog for the first time, neutral pathway. They all see Sky Troops, they all see Glyphic Canyon, they all see Prison Island and an upcoming level called Iron Jungle. They all see those levels because fuck missions. The simplicity of Sonic is what makes it fun, guys. If you like Shadow, fine, but you have to understand, not everyone wants to look for these stupid aliens. Not everyone wants to get lost in the maze areas that is the Doom. Oh yeah, the Doom's coming up in Part 9. Get ready for that level, because that level's really terrible. But, you know, you like the mission structure, you like Shadow, that's cool. I'm very surprised at the amount of fan base this game has uh, from doing Part 1. It makes me worried that too many of you actually like Sonic 06. Because Sonic 06 is a fucking train wreck, and if you think Shadow the Hedgehog is a good game, don't tell me you think Sonic 06 is a good game too, because that fucking worries me. But I digress. Uh, this this is the key door. I have all five keys. It opens up. You kill the black creature, and uh, this one actually has lock-on missiles. That's what makes him different from the side black creature that I could have rid, or that I did ride in uh, the hero mission. So I can shoot missiles. Hooray. But, uh... Yeah, people like Shadow, it's much to my shock and surprise, but every adult I've talked to generally hates the game. And I know I have a very young fan base, and if you like Shadow, okay, fine. But not everyone likes this mission structure, not everyone wants the guns and the bad language and the stupid story and everything. So, you know, just realize you're in the minority, and that most people see Shadow the Hedgehog as a bad game. So deal with it. <laughs> Anyhow, this is the last flagship, you blow this one up and then you help Black Doom defeat Eggman. Oh god. I'm so sorry, Eggman. I'm so sorry. Oh god. Oh god. Doctor, I have no further use for you. But uh yeah, we're coming up to one of the worst fucking levels in the game. And uh to end this video, I actually figured I'd, I'd end it with a song. Uh, basically, when the video started up, uh, we heard a remix of Dr. Eggman's theme from Sonic Adventure 2 as he was talking about the aliens and whatnot. Uh, that is Eggman, and in brackets, Doc Robitnik's mix. <laughs> I swear to God, that's the name of the song. Uh, it's worth showing off because it's personally m one of my favorite Eggman themes ever. I like it better than the original. I like the remix. Uh... It's just really funky. It's a good Eggman tune. So enjoy Eggman Doc Robitnik's mix. And I will see you in part nine when we tackle that awful Doom level. Toodles. I'm not the one
Thank you.